Hello everyone and welcome. You know, I have tested several products from KiwiS in the past and I've always been very satisfied. The other day I came across these two products that we're going to be looking at today. They're both very similar and very affordable, so I decided to get them both and review them both together in this one video. So today you're getting another twofer. That's right, two reviews in one video. Today we'll look at the KiwiS ST100 and the KiwiS ST120. Two pen styled electrical testers, but which one is right for you? Well, after you watch this video, hopefully you'll be able to answer that question. So let's unbox these puppies and see what I got this time. But before we do that, if you'll enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the boxes for you. Let's open these puppies up and see what I got. All right, guys, so when you open these puppies up, this is everything you get. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about both of these units together. We're going to talk about their similarities and their differences. That way, it's better for you to decide which unit is best for you. So let's start off by talking about the KWEATS ST100 non-contact voltage tester. This is available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $21.99. But they also have a 15% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So when you open up this puppy, what do you get? Well, you get the electrical tester itself, you get the probes to help you do some testing and so forth, and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, warranty, how to take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. You also get some batteries, which are already put inside the unit. Now the dimensions on this unit are 7 inches by 1 inch by 1 inch, so very compact. And it only weighs 3.2 ounces. The probes on this, the length of the wires on the probe is 32 inches, because I know someone's going to want to know that. And the warranty on this unit is 3 years. Now looking over here at the KWEATS ST120 electronic pen multimeter. This is also available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $19.99. But they also have a 15% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to come across any other coupons for either one of these units, I'll put them down in the description below, so check that out before you do anything. So when you open this puppy up, what do you get? Well, you get the tester itself, you get batteries, which I already put in it, you get the manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to hook it up and set it up and all that, how to do testing, etc. And you get a probe also, so you can do some electrical testing, and the length on this one is also 32 inches. The dimensions on this unit are 8 inches by 1 inch by 1 inch, and this one only weighs 2.8 ounces. This also has a 3-year warranty. So now let's talk about the similarities between both of these units. They're both CAT3 600 volt standard rated. They both have 15 minute power off settings, so you put it down, leave it for 15 minutes, it'll turn itself off to conserve the batteries. They both have a beautiful backlit LED color display, which I'll show you in a moment. And they also have visual and audible alerts for voltage testing. They both have LED flashlights to help light up the area that you're working on if it's dark. They both have data hold buttons, so if you're doing some testing in something, you don't want to lose the data, you press the hold button and it'll keep it for you. They also default to the auto mode when you start them up, and they automatically select between AC-DC voltage testing, resistance, or continuity. They're both smart in that capacity. They both have a testing range of between 0.8 to 600 volts. They both test AC-DC voltage, live wire, capacitance, resistance, diode testing, continuity, phase sequence, and they can tell you whether the phase is either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, well, they're both the same. What's the difference? Aha, the difference is the ST100 is a non-contact tester. The ST120 is not. So if you want a non-contact voltage tester, this is the one to look at. The ST120 is a pen type multimeter with a probe built into the end, as you can see right here. The benefit of this one is that you only need two hands to use it, because one hand holds the unit itself, and you see the readings and touch it to whatever you need, the other hand holds the other probe. This unit, you need three hands. Not really, I'm joking. But basically, you need to have two hands to hold the probes, and then you either hold this with another hand, 
put it down somewhere, hold the probe and the multimeter with your hand, whatever it is. What you're saying, what I'm getting at is, this is a little bit more clumsy to use than this one, so it depends on your situation, what you need, and what you're working on. So if putting the unit down somewhere and using it on a tabletop or something like that is very common, easy to do, no problem for you, this is a very good unit right here. If you're using it on areas where you have no place to put things down and you want hands free, just two hands to do the testing and touching on two probes, this is probably more convenient for you. So there you have the similarities and the differences between the two units. So let's do a little bit of testing and see how they perform. All right, guys, let's take a little closer look at some of these guys and see what they look like and how they perform. Let's start off with the ST100. Now, this is the non-contact voltage tester right here. And basically, you can see what it looks like right there. You have three buttons right there that control everything. You have your power on-off button, your flashlight and hold button for your data, and your function button that selects through all the different things this guy can do. Now, this is a very useful little multimeter right here. Same as the other one. They're both little compact pen style multimeters that can do a lot for your DIYer around the house, stuff like that. Even professionals, it can do a lot for them if they don't need a big bulky meter that has more functions to it. For your basic functions, these guys do a heck of a lot of testing in a very compact size. So you have to determine what functions you need the most and if these guys can handle it for you. So basically this guy, when you first turn it on, all you do is press the button right there and it defaults to the non-contact testing process. So basically then the non-contact is active and how that works, and you can see right there, NCV. And what you do is I have a power strip right here, it is turned on, and what you do is you come close to it and you see right there, it starts telling you right away without having to touch it, it tells you right away that this is a live wire. Now the benefit of this is the convenience of this unit is that you can put it close to it and it tells you that it's live. But if you insert it into a, something like this, it increases the amount of lighting right there. You see the lights on the front. It increases and it becomes much more agitated. You can hear the beeping going right there, telling you that is a very hot live wire, very high voltage. You can see the H on the screen there telling you it's high voltage. You back it off and it backs away. When you get close to it, you see it starts telling you it's live. It's live, but it doesn't tell you how bad. You get close to it, there you go. Hot voltage, high wire right there. Stay away from it, very dangerous. So that's very convenient as far as that goes right there. And with the function button, you can select all the different things on there, just selecting through the different uh, screens that it tells you right there, all the different things you can do. Now, one thing also, as far as most of the other functions go, you have to, like the live function right there, what you need to do for that is to connect up your two probes that go with it. And in that case, then you hook them up down here. And that becomes your full-fledged multimeter right there, where you have two probes and you can touch anything you want and figure out exactly what you're doing as far as testing goes. Now, what I said previously about the convenience of this is that with two hands, you have to hold on to these two probes to touch whatever it is you're testing. Or, and you can put it down on a tabletop if it's convenient. If not, then what you need to do is hold the unit and hold the probe as you're doing your work. And that way, you know, you make it work like that. That is why this one has that little bit of a drawback to it. Again, depending on your application, what you're trying to do with it. Now, let's look at the other one. Here you have the ST120. And there you have a look at this guy, what that looks like. And your same basic layout right there power on off button, your flashlight data hold button, and your function button right there. You turn this puppy on, and this one defaults to auto mode, where basically you just let it do what it's going to do. You start doing your testing, and it selects for you what it is that you're supposed to be testing. It's a smart pen in that way. So you don't have to pick it, it'll pick it for you. And here you go, if you want to your flashlight, you press that button, there's your flashlight right there to light up the different areas for you. And basically this guy is very convenient. You have a probe right here at the end. And if you want to test, like we said with the other one, the other one was a non-contact voltage tester. Well, on this one, what you do is if you want to find a live wire, you just go to the live setting right there, live. And then on this guy, you can see when you get close to it, it doesn't do anything because it's not a non-contact tester. This guy has to get close and intimate to the wire to tell you that it's live. So when you insert it into there, 
Again, the same thing it tells you high voltage and it starts beeping and it gives you a visual representation telling you that this is dangerous and you have to be extra careful. So it works beautifully in that way, but you have to have contact with the live wire. So it does not have the non-contact testing ability. But like I said, you can select all the different functions that it has and go through it and pick what works best for you. And you can see the screen right there, very clear, very easy to read, very nice functionality. And the convenience about this guy, like I said, is that since it has one probe already on there, when you wanna do some other probing, well, all you have to do is take the probe that comes with it, insert it onto the bottom right here, and there you go, you're off and running. You have one probe right here, one probe right here. And that's it, you start touching the two different things and the multimeter and the probe are both together in your hand in one hand. So it gives you a bit more flexibility as far as that goes, it's not as cumbersome. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of contact testing on you know different boards or something like that, and you need to have flexibility and not have a bulkier unit that you have to stumble with your hand, this guy gives you a bit more flexibility in that respect. So if the non-contact testing is not a big deal for you, this guy is probably a better alternative. So that's something only you can decide. So let's do some more testing. All right guys, before we move on, let me give you a little closer look at the two units so you can see more of what we're talking about here. Give you a little closer feel of what they're like. And this is the ST100, and you can see the different function buttons right there. You can see the nice clear screen that it has, and if I go through the function button, you can see that you can select a lot of things, and it's very clear, very easy to read. Nice LCD screen right there, or LED, whatever it is. And uh, it looks very nice, very beautiful, very clear and easy to read, especially if you're in a dark area. So that's very convenient right there. And there you go, you default back to the uh, non-contact. And let's leave it on auto for right now. And the flashlight on this guy, I don't think I showed you the flashlight. If you hold the button down, you light up the flashlight at the end, and there you see it right there. It's a very good, strong flashlight. It gives you a lot of lighting if you need that. So that's very convenient right there when you're working in a dark area. Let me turn that off, and there you go. And the ST120, Again, this one defaults off to the auto mode when you start it up, and you go through the different functions, and again, it has a very clear, easy to read screen, and makes it very easy for you, whatever it is that you're doing. And you already saw the flashlight on this one, so I don't need to show you that again. But again, very nice and easy to do. There's the flashlight on the bottom there, a little different design. There's the probe on the tip of it, and then you always insert the other one back here. So that shows you what that one is like. And the other one, you have the two probe connectors back there. So that's how those guys connect there at the bottom. So that gives you a little closer look at the two units so you have some idea what we're talking about. All right, so then let's test these guys using them on a DC system. These guys come in really, really handy for testing all sorts of stuff throughout your vehicle because it is a very compact little pen-shaped multimeter. You can use it for all sorts of stuff. Right now, I have it to auto mode, and we're going to test the voltage on the battery just because that's an easy demonstration for you guys. But what you see, it's like it's very convenient because one hand holds one probe, the other hand holds the other probe, and if you need to, you can buy clamps so you can put at the bottom of these guys if it's something that you really want to do, if it makes it easier for your testing. And all you do is right there, you put it on the two different terminals, and it automatically selects what it thinks you're trying to do. And there you have it, 12.34 DC voltage, it tells you what you're trying to do. And you can use this anywhere throughout your vehicle, whether you're testing wires or testing, you know, junction boxes or relays or all sorts of stuff. You can set it to whatever it is that you think you need to figure out what the problem is. So there you have it. This is a very useful little device. Instead of a test light, this guy gives you a lot more information for about the same price as your common test light. So this little guy right here, on the other hand, also makes a very good multimeter test light, auto tester, or whatever it is you want to use it for, on your vehicle for 12 volt DC systems. As you can see, the only drawback is you need to put it down somewhere, because it makes it kind of difficult to hold with the two prongs that come with it, the two probes that you need to use. So you need to put it down somewhere so you can read what's going on, but then again, like right now I have it on auto, and then all you do is test the two little points that you're trying to test, and it automatically figures out what you're trying to do, and it tells you right there, DC voltage. As you see, very clear, very easy to read, very smart little unit, and it does the job very nicely. But this guy, like I said, you need to put it down somewhere because you need both hands free. So there you go, that's the difference. All right, so with the setting on the auto mode, let's test this uh, capacitor and see what it looks like, see how it performs, see what it can tell us about it.
And there you go. That's a pretty accurate reading right there, pretty much in keeping with what the label says right over there on that side. This is an old capacitor, but it's still definitely workable, so it's not too bad. All right, using the same capacitor again with this guy in auto mode. This is the ST100. Let's see what it tells us. And it goes through and it does its testing again. And again, very similar reading. So it's in keeping with what the capacitor says it can do. So uh, both units are very much in sync with each other. So there you go. Like I said, this one is a little different. You have to put it down to be able to hold both of the probes. But it does the job just fine. All right, guys, there you have it. Two very convenient and affordable pen-style multimeters. They both have many of the functions that a larger, bulkier multimeter would have, but in a very compact form. They're also both very affordable. For around 20 bucks, you can get a very full-featured digital multimeter here. The choice comes down to which one suits your needs better. Do you prefer having a non-contact feature, or do you prefer the dexterity of a built-in probe? Either way, I think these two pen style multimeters from Kweeds are very good units. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.